Thermax, the market has turned for the worse. Guests spoke too soon. Well, of the intraday because we're now looking at a near 200 point drop on the Nifty. So it's getting a little uglier. Uh, there's additional selling pull of the intraday of Apollo Hospitals, for instance. Uh, so some of the stocks are selling off big time now. Uh, the Bajaj twins, FinServe and Finance have seen additional pressure. And auto stocks are seeing, that's the, yeah, that's the big Apollo Hospitals decline. And auto stocks are seeing a lot of selling today. I show, um, you have a couple of other names as well. Tata Motors on the downside. Britannia, uh, you know, at some point in the middle of last week, there was this move to FMCG. It was only one day last week. Uh, this morning, even that is uh, not visible. We are seeing plenty of uh, red. The only FMCG stock in positive is actually lever. The classic trade of rush to FMCG in times of uncertainty, not happening in 2023. At least not, uh, you know, not clearly visible in the environment right now. Let's go back to Mitesh for some ideas. Mitesh, uh, uh, I remember, I think you were saying that you were looking to, uh, you know, uh, looking, looking at buying a dip and then try and sort of trade it on, on the upside. Are you still holding that uh, that thesis? What, are, what would you be uh, doing now on the index? Uh, morning again. Um, see, my idea is that uh, <clears throat> the index might consolidate between 16,800 mm -hmm. to about uh, 17,150. And therefore, buying closer to about 16,825 is what I will explore. So another 75, 80 points lower from here. Uh, good chance that we will see 16800 that support area coming to play again and we can get uh, one more bounce back. So I think that's the kind of view we are taking and we'll take about a 50, 55 point kind of a stop loss from levels of around 16825. Uh, having said that, I have right now one buy and one sell call. The oil refining stocks, the refinery stocks are doing well and I've, uh, I've got a buy on IOC. Uh, keep a stop at about 79 or just below it over here and look for target of around 85. While you were highlighting auto names, we had a sell on Aisha earlier. Now I have a sell on Ashok Leland, which is a sell with a stop at 139 for targets of 130. Okay, so a lot of auto stocks, a sell call coming in over there. By the way, Reliance is at a fresh 52-week low as we speak. So 20